The New York Times reporting the White House is having trouble finding a replacement for the outgoing communications director. Four potential successors are said to have declined to be considered. Also today, NBC News reporting that President Trump is actively seeking advice about whether to remove Chief of Staff Ryan Priebus. With me, former Vermont governor and former chairman of the Democratic National Committee, Howard Deed, and chairman of the American Conservative Union, Matt Schlapp. Governor, first to you, um, can we make anything of the fact that these, uh, the briefing today was on audio and that uh, we're getting fewer on camera? Uh, you know, I just think they feel probably like they're being pummeled by the press and want to try to mitigate that some, and they haven't had much luck being straightforward with the press, so I guess this is the next step. Matt? Look, I think they should mix it up. It was Mike McCurry under Bill Clinton who televised these briefings every day. Presidents have done them in different ways. And I think it's a mistake for Sean Spicer to do this himself every day. I've said they should have a bullpen. They should have several sp By the way, presidents in the past have gone to the sticks in that room and briefed the press. You've had cabinet secretaries do it. Uh, I think depending on what message they want to drive, it should determine who from the administration comes and briefs the press. And by the way, you don't have to do it every day. And I think the president should travel a lot more. And his travel will then dictate uh, what the press covers. And I think they should mix it up. Well, the president has an unusual way of communicating with, of course, is a new era. He, he likes Twitter. Yes, he does. And Twitter's a lot of fun. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun with his... Uh, Miss Tweet or whatever it was. Uh, it was uh, Which he was a good sport. He had fun back then. Yeah, it was. It was fun. I actually think it that wasn't mean. That Miss Tweet was better than some of the other tweets. So we're just <laughs> yeah, fine with that. Right, I think I that agree. was good. Um, it, it appears there's a shake up going on at the White House. I mean, that's what appears on the outside. Um, Ryan's, Ryan's Priebus, uh, is, people keep making comments that maybe he's on the way out the door. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if it's true either. You mean and they're not calling you? No, they're not calling me. But that's a sort of a classic Washington thing is to start the rumor that somebody's out of the way out you know, at the way, on the way out the door when you want them to be out the door. And I'm not talking about Trump. I'm talking about other people who probably have it in for previous. I mean, this is a pretty contentious White House. They are going to have trouble getting people who are going to work close to the president for two reasons. One, he's obviously not an easy guy to work for. But the real reason is they could well end up under oath. Um, what do they know and when do they know it? Even new coming in, this would be a tough move. You might, this might be a career ender for you to go to work for Donald you, Trump you and know, end up under oath. I've worked in an administration in the first term of President George W. Bush. There were lots of investigations going on. We had the leak investigation. It's a stressful uh, place to work when there's, a, when there's an outside counsel. And I, look, I think the president is going to shake things up. And actually, I think the president is right to want to shake things up. The average tenure of a White House staffer is eight or nine months. It, except, These are not long-term jobs. Except, Matt, just like, I mean, the, the, the problems at the White House, like take the communications department, said, I don't know how they could do a better job. If you've got someone who wants to go out there and talk about the crowd size, or, or if you've got someone who's tweeting in the middle of the night, I and mean, if you've got someone accusing a former president of wiretapping, I, I mean, I don't know it's how. Big. I don't know what communications director. I mean, uh, right. where, where are you going to find someone who can do a better job? No, I, I agree. I, I mean, Josh Ernst was a really good press secretary, which I'm very proud of because he was my deputy when I was at, uh, running the DNC. Um, and, but he was, he was working for a guy who was predictable, who gave the full briefing. And, and he was great at it, but he, Obama helped him be great at it. Trump is not helping Sean Spicer. And I think Sean Spicer's trying to do the best he can. He's trying to stay loyal to the president, which is what you're supposed to do. But it puts him in a really bad position. Look, I think it was a mistake for people to say, hey, this was somehow Mike Dupke's fault. He was there for just a couple of months. He was the last guy in. He wasn't the reason they were having problems. But look, there has been a lot of staff mistakes at this White House. They need like to tighten what? it up. Like what? I think there's been, I think they could do a little better job on the communications front. I think everybody agrees with you don't that. Think I know the media all of us. Started, you don't think the media is, I mean, the media is gunning. You don't think the media is gunning for a... They, oh, yeah, it's terrible. Okay, all right. Let me tell you, when you work for a Republican president, every day is war. Do you agree, Governor? Is this, uh, the media gov uh, gunning for this president? They're gunning for him because he's Trump, not because he's a Republican. Trump gives them fodder every day. He puts them down. He puts other people down. He's not a nice You're man. You're not right. George I, W. Bush took the same heat. I it's what they do. True. I don't think it's true. It is true. I, I can remember being in, in, you know, when I was running, and I didn't like the media very much, and I still have my concerns about them. But I've never seen anything like what they're doing to Trump. I think it's much worse, Dick, and I think he deserves Dick it. Dick Cheney was called a war criminal. He couldn't leave this country for a while. I mean, it gets blistering when you are a Republican in that White House, and it's, this is not going to be an easy time for this president and or his team.
Why does anybody want this job? What, the, the yeah, job of president? Like, no, no, not the job of president. I, I, Air Force One is why you want to be president. I understand that. Uh, <laughs> 17 of our guys signed up for it. You know, I know. They all so, wanted... I, I'd say that, that is, that's suspect to be. <laughs> anybody who wants the job, in my mind, I think, like, why, well, you wanted it. Why did you want it? I wanted to change the country. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, but anyway, why does someone want to be in a, in, a, in this this? Uh... Look, if if you, I mean, look, let's just obviously Trump is a very different person than we've ever seen before. Um, I think if you're serious and you care about policy and you care about power, this is a great job. I would, I would love to have this job. Uh, you well, can still run. I mean, you know, there's I still could, time. I could, but I'm, I'm much know. more anxious to get somebody who's under 50 in this job than I am of my age. I think our generation has hung on too long. I really do. So, and, and who would that be? Who? Oh, there's a long list. Uh, is Secretary Hillary Clinton going to run again? Do you think? No. You think she's uh, she's done? I think she's going to run again. She said she's not, and I believe her. Well, I, everyone always. I, mean, I hope she runs again. But, I'd like to see her run. <laughs> and anyway, 